context mapping as a part of our study is about exploring contexts and widening the view in a qualitative way. We chose this method to generate more insights on the social cohesion of a neighbourhood and to discover common values amongst neighbours. To map the context, we took five different phases into consideration. The preparation phase, the sensitisation phase, where participants get a package of assignments to do at home, which we call cultural probes, a workshop phase, in which discussions are triggered in a creative way, and the analysation phase and the communication phase of our insights. So let's take a look into the preparation phase. At this point, we are interested in four different neighbourhoods. We then explored these and found the neighbourhood info shop in De Kraudenburg. Here, the first contact was made and the neighbourhood was chosen. We discussed what stories we wanted to elicit and used a 2x2 two two grid to map our nice ideas. We decided to use a structure of past, present, future in the cultural probes and workshop. Next, participants had to be selected. An invitation was made and distributed among the 1,200 households of the neighbourhood. From this, six neighbours were really enthusiastic about participating. They were all female, although differed in age, years living in the Crowdenburg, and their engagement. During the sensitisation phase, we gave the participants a cultural probe to prepare them for the workshop and to let them reflect and explore on aspects of their personal contexts in their own time and environment. In the cultural probes, we integrated a postcard to reveal the nicest memory of living in the Crowdenburg. A map to pinpoint their house, regular routes and neighbourhood friends, and a camera with tasks to photograph their day, view, neighbourhood, interesting places and more. Now let's take a look into the workshop itself. Here we looked at the results of the cultural probes and discussed the insights. Besides this, we wanted to reveal their needs and wishes about the future by letting them create a future view box for in 10 years time. This was as so. During the whole process, we collected qualitative data which we analysed in the next phase. Here, we ordered and sorted it. Then, we discovered common values and interests. Finally, all these insights were translated to a context map and we created a persona. The last step was to communicate our knowledge to the design team and discuss results to bring them back to the neighbourhood.